Good Saturday afternoon, everyone. We are continuing to uh, closely monitor uh, this disturbance in the main development region in the Atlantic. We also have a new disturbance right in the Gulf of Mexico. We do need to watch as well. So welcome everyone to the video. We are going to get right into this here. Again, we do have that disturbance down here, which is a 60% chance of cyclone formation in five days. That is Invest 94L. We also do have a disturbance over here in the Gulf of Mexico. That is not an invest but just a regular disturbance only has a 20% chance of development within the next five days so not something we need to closely watch but definitely to keep an eye on in the coast since it's so close to the land that it's not really going to have a big chance of developing but you know the National Hurricane Center just wanted to highlight it to uh, put it out there that we could see some sort of formation there as you can see we did get an update with Invis 94L uh, this afternoon as of 2 p.m. Uh, the low level wind field is associated with a tropical wave located over the central tropical Atlantic Ocean has become more better defined today but the wave is only producing limited shower activity the environment conditions appear conducive uh, for development of the system over the next few days and a tropical depression could form during the early to middle part of next week uh, this system is forecasted to move westward at around 15 to 20 miles per hour over the tropical atlantic approach to windward islands on tuesday and move across the southern caribbean sea on wednesday and thursday again that is a 60 percent chance of formation as we look at the atlantic satellite imagery as you can see here's our little guy right here uh, that we are looking at this is our uh, invest 94l now it looks like this was invest 94l but that is a different sort of area of convection i don't think that has circulation so it's not really a tropical wave we do have however some sort of tropical wave that has formed again uh but uh, just behind invest 94l i think we do need to closely watch as well also more convection coming off of africa so this is only june we're already seeing uh some possibly two uh tropical waves you're already starting up uh the uh june the late june hurricane season here going into july and more of late july we do see these tropical waves what we're already seeing here in late june which is definitely uh pretty interesting and we we aren't seeing much for this disturbance up here in the gulf uh we are seeing a chance for development over here and then we do have i think and then we do have tropical storm celia over here in the pacific which you can't see but it's definitely there in the pacific uh not impacting much but definitely we do have that tropical storm celia and, and also that chance of formation down there pacific we only really cover much of the pacific if anything's major going on here's invis 94l as you can see, uh, this is a closer look at it on the satellite imagery, and it is not looking that healthy. We do have some convection, uh, tiny bits of convection blowing up, typically uh, look like summer pop-up thunderstorms, uh, but in tropical form. You can't really see the circulation much, maybe over here, I can't really tell here. Uh, you could definitely see uh, some sort of uh, circulation going on with that otherwise i'm not seeing any anything uh, to be named anytime soon here probably it's gonna have a lot of time to get its act together it was looking a lot more healthier uh with uh rain showers and, and thunderstorms a few days ago now it's just kind of chilling as of right now but we can look here at uh invest 94l gfs ensembles and as you can see uh, we have these pretty much the same, pretty much the same as of yesterday compared to other of these models here. As you can see, these spaghetti models do bring it into Central America as a 996 millibar possible tropical storm heading into Central America, uh, kind of just gliding the coast here of South America, then heading to, into Central America. We do have a few here heading into more northward movements we do have one going even upwards into the east coast um, but of course those are just a few models here so majority of these are going to go into central america i think again things will change and we will continue to get updates on this uh, as you can see we do head to the global hurricane models as you can see majority of these are pretty much the same as gfs ensembles uh, and then uh, we do head over to the geps ensembles and looks practically the same more some of these do go into the gulf 
which we will have to watch, of course. That's, only, that's about 240 hours out, so uh, things will definitely change. Things uh, might go northward. They may even go more southward into the more of the Pacific, develop another storm in the Pacific. Uh, we're generally going to have to watch this very closely, though. Central America definitely needs to watch out for this, uh, as uh, it could definitely even form into a hurricane uh, if uh, those right ingredients are there at the right time. Now, intensity guidance, uh, as you can see, a lot of these do reach a tropical storm strength by around 72 to 96 hours uh, and then we do uh, even get category one hurricane possible by 108 hours category two possible with some models and uh, not all of them though and then that's when it makes landfall uh, possibly as a category two category one hurricane as starts to weaken so definitely a big possibility here for possibly again that hurricane status as it approaches Central America again we're gonna have to watch that very closely as it heads throughout the Caribbean. As of right now, the models are just kind of mixing up scenarios and stuff like that. We will have more confidence at forecasting this, but let's go on and move, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the models uh, in the loops uh, that that. I'll go ahead and take a look at few, a few of these models here from Tropical Tidbits. Uh, as you can see, we are going to be moving forward here uh, for about 72 hours. As you can see, there is our tropical wave, Invest 94L right there. That is about uh, around 12 a.m. of Tuesday. Now, let's move forward here. There's that disturbance down there in Pacific. That definitely will develop into something, even tropical storm hurricane. Uh, and then we do move forward. This could definitely form into a tropical storm here by around July 1st. Uh, and then that makes landfall possibly as even a uh, category one hurricane around uh, July 2nd. So uh, the Central America there, Nicaragua, uh, definitely needs to watch out for that. That could definitely head into Nicaragua, Nicaragua uh, as a category one hurricane. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Uh, trying my best here, as you can see, again, that is definitely looking quite organized according to the GFS model. We can go ahead and look at the ICON model here uh, according to its opinion. Only goes out to 120 hours from now. And as you can see, uh, definitely looks like possibly a tropical depression. Still quite high pressure though as it exits, exits the southern windward islands and then just kind of scrapes south america there uh go over to the cmc model and as you can see uh, this definitely looks like possibly that tropical storm into nicaragua uh, and then uh, not really hurricane according to the cmc model uh, we can go ahead and look at the nav gym model which doesn't show much but still shows a tropical wave sort of uh, this model is not very good at tropical uh, tropical stuff um, but of course we we got to take a look at all of them you know all the scenarios possible with this storm here uh, now we can even look at the European model here as you can see uh, the European model does bring it into there around a low-end tropical storm just need something to watch very closely here as it does head as it possibly does threaten central america uh we will definitely keep you guys updated on this make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new turn on post notifications if you do like this type of daily weather videos on these tropical stuff and anything major hurricanes i will cover this season uh and so i will still cover severe weather and stuff like that but during hurricane season we kind of shift a little bit more towards that unless uh, there is an in if there is any major severe weather uh, i definitely will do videos on that however on those social medias uh, i will do those uh severe weather updates uh on social media but mainly tropical videos as we shift into hurricane season but again uh severe weather videos uh, do still exist during hurricane season just to let you guys know but uh, as always see you in the next one stay safe